Alright people, welcome back. Um, today we are going caving. Um, I just found this cave pretty close to our uh, original spawn. So, um, and we're just trying to... F oh, yeah, that was stupid. Alright. <coughs> we're trying to find... Um, mainly trying to find diamond. And we need a lot of redstone. Because I'm... I have started clearing out some space <coughs> for the. Um, oh, my voice is kind of breaking. Um, for the um, mob spawner, I do want to create a really, really cool system. Um, I have been um, experimenting a bit in creative mode uh, with separating the um, different types of mobs. I haven't quite got going, but we should at least be able to. Oh, this is a bad cave be able to um ah uh, nuts we should be able to um separate at least the creepers from the others so we can use potions to kill them i'm pretty sure maybe this wasn't the cave i saw because i saw a cave when i was um running here after i died one time so uh See, I'll I'll go looking and I'll bring you back in when I find it. Wow, that's a lot of mobs, <coughs> which to me kind of indicates that there aren't any good caves nearby. Oh, I did not want to fall into the water. Mm. I'm glad I have a decent sw sword. Now the the bane stuff is that good, but at least you got the fire aspect. If you ever find um, an abandoned mineshaft, this sword should be really good, but... Uh, die, you fucker. Of course, the flame stuff isn't that good in the rain, it seems. Oh, let's go under here. Oh, I'll just keep running. And running. Just, uh... Still trying to find that cave, and now trying to find a vantage point where I can be a bit safer. Let's see, we have... I did see a creeper up there, so I'm gonna be a bit careful. I have to fight these assholes off. Yeah. And then maybe we can see something from up here. Oh. Right, it's ours. We have taken the hill. Let's see if we can see something interesting down here. Hmm, it's raining. I hate when it's raining. This now, this might be a cool pla uh, place to actually build an outpost at some point, though, because. The terrain is... <coughs> Sorry about that. The terrain is really cool. But I don't see any interesting caves. It's too hilly up here. Let's... Uh, I'll, um, I'll keep going and I'll bring you back in. Oh wow, I barely got off that spot and... Uh, this place is cool. Yeah, you get down there. Well, <laughs> push it straight over to the other edge. That's right, dead. So, yeah, I just had to uh, show this to you guys. Uh, I want an outpost here. <coughs> Ooh, and we found another village. We might actually build something around that town too because this looks cool and that will probably be a side project that we'll do at a later, later date but uh, oh. we even have brown sheep here this place is cool seriously look at this this is awesome you know just passed over that thing here and saw this and two it's gonna melt it together. But let's see if we can do a leap of faith here. Oh, yeah, I won't do that. 
it's kind of dangerous because I I'm used to playing with um, on the uh, server, the co server. I used to play with um, <coughs> full protection for armor and feather falling, so I might get a bit careless at times. Let's uh, let's check that village out. It should be mildly interesting. <coughs> so yeah, I was hoping to do some caving, but uh, almost looks like we're ending up with like an explorer thing here. Oh well, maybe there's something cool. maybe there's a blacksmith so I can get some more diamond or tools or whatever something at least semi useful. Did not shake that guy. Well, this is a much bigger village than the one we started with. I almost wish we actually found this one. Wow, this is quite dirty actually. There are villagers here though. That's cool. Hi guys. Whoa. Yeah, I saw some, someone in here. It's kind of dark in here. You should probably get a light. Hi guy. Cool. Hmm. Nothing that interesting, just a lot of... No? No, that's cool. What the hell is up with that dog? Are you glitched? No. Oh. It's probably the rain. Yeah. Is their skin gets dark when they're wet or something. <coughs> right, but doesn't seem that there's too much interesting going on in this village. There doesn't seem to be a blacksmith or anything. So we'll just leave it alone. But I have left a trail of lights there, so I should be able to find it at some later date. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll keep wandering around and see wh what you can find. Right, we're still close to the village. It's here. Mark this off a bit, <coughs> and um, found the lava infested uh, cave down here. So I'll just, I think I'll just put this out. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow! Oh, I thought it went really deep there, but uh, hmm, that's it. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. Is there actually a lava source here? Ah, it's just glitchy lava. Alright, cool. But there seems to be a decent sized cave down here. I just got a quick glimpse. And uh, I think this is promising. Yeah, I see you. And I see you guy. You, you can stand there burn for a while. Well, I take care of you, buddy. Oh. Yeah. That's not the wrong guy. Oh. Bad timing. Oh man. These guys. They're fucking up. <coughs> mm, let's see. Let's get on the pillar here. This is stupid because I'm mining straight up and I've already been hit by sand once this episode. Oh man. Let's see. <coughs> So, while we're caving, um, there was something I wanted to talk about today, and that is the um, YouTube's treatment of Norwegians. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not as bad as I just made it sound, but uh, the thing is, um, YouTube has opened up their partner program. Um, so you don't need to be approved anymore, you could just... Basically, as long as you have an AdSense account, you could just tag your video for ads and well if somebody watches it if somebody clicks the ads you you'll get some money it's not too much as long as you have unless you have a lot of views but uh and <laughs> I don't have any views at all more or less but, but still uh you can have an adsense account in Norway of course you know everyone can have an adsense account but um so I do have that, and I've had that for several years. Not made that much money on it, but uh, you know, I've had some blogs and stuff, and you know, made a couple bucks here and there. Nothing much. But 
YouTube won't support Norwegian um, partners through AdSense. That doesn't work. So you can't actually be a YouTube partner from Norway right now. It's it's not possible. What you can can do is you can pay for pay to have your um, videos show up as recommended or not recommended, but um, featured with AdWords. Even if you're in Norway, they don't care. I think it, uh, you actually had to make it, uh, uh, make um, the agreement with Google Ireland or, some, or something. Still, you can, you can do that. So when you, they're you know they're willing to take your money to promote your videos, but they won't give you any money back if you end up getting a lot of views. I I think that's weird. Maybe there's some regulations or something that makes it harder, but I know Sweden has the ability to, um, so you can set up ads, and uh, it's it's weird. Um, I don't I don't really get the logic with, uh, behind that. So if anyone knows any more about the partner system and how that actually works in regards to the different countries and so, I don't know. I, s I did read some articles at some point saying that it should come to Norway. That was from last summer or something. So, well, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. It would be cool. Not so much because I think I would make any m real money off it, but, uh <coughs> you know, it's added motivation and uh, it would be cool kind of just to have tried it. So, <coughs> hopefully, uh, YouTube gets off their asses and adds it for uh, Norwegian uh, channels pretty soon. But uh, well, we'll see what happens with that. It would be fun. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid water, always in my way. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! This is a big cave. I'm glad I went down here. I actually found this cave after I um, went back to the village. I had I only went like a couple hundred blocks away from it, but then I kind of lost track of where I was, so I basically decided to take the safer route and just go back to. Ha ha ha! You're done somewhere I could easily recognize and I almost fell into it and I saw some lava so I decided that well that probably is a good sign and uh, yeah it did, that, it did seem like that we're at 36 we should start seeing some gold pretty soon and so I do need some gold I want to get a subway system up and running not too long so Hopefully we'll, f we'll find a lot of gold. Yeah, dead end. F shite. See. Yeah, I'll make some more torches while I'm at it. Oh, oh well, that's fine. Um, we'll I think I'll get back here. Uh. Well, yeah, probably. Just do like this for now, and I can block the whole place off. I can see some light over there. See? Right. That's good. You always need more coal. That's uh, one of the constant truths of uh, Minecraft. You always need more coal, and uh, because there's so many times when I've just basically stopped picking up the coal I find, and then later on when I'm playing, I suddenly get get the bright idea of you know making like ten stacks of. Uh, or 50 stacks of uh, smooth stone and suddenly you're out of coal. Oh. This is interesting. I think this is the same way so we're going to go back here later but uh, so I'll just block this off. Right. 
As you can see, I want to be really systematic when it comes to caving because oh, I don't want to have to get lost in here. <coughs> Especially if I actually uh, end up dying down here. I don't want to be running around in a lot of dead ends and stuff like that trying to find my stuff. <coughs> so that's why I always, or more or less always, block off any um, dead ends I find and if I can kind of backtrack out through the dead ends and it's kind of block of everything in the end to kind of it's really easy to find any entrances you haven't explored because well you know if, if they're lit up when you have explored the cave before or when you have been running through it for a while you can still find like entrances that are lit up but you don't you haven't really explored every possibility down there so there might be oh, hidden hidden entrances and stuff like that right this is good this is a dead end so we'll just block that off just need some more cobble Man, Splunking is good for resources. You get a lot of iron and if you go to a proper depth you also get some diamond and get other good stuff, but you don't get a lot of cobble. If that was this and this that means that there are no more oh well it's up there. Yeah, I'll just uh close this off um, probably be more um, blocking that or than I really need but uh, well, I'd rather block something off than and then be sure this um, let's just do this and it's blocked off we won't go over there anymore because we know that it, there's nothing more to get over there so, yeah, we have already seen this from the other side. Let's go back here first. Maybe this is a dead end we can block off and make everything much simpler. Yep, it was. So, you know, caving is half, uh, having a good, half of it is having a good system. The other half is, well, luck, I guess. up this coal and we're done with this one too I'll just pick up some extra cobble I'll get a lot of mo lot more cobble when I'm um, I'll when I'm getting to work on the, the grinder you know properly I've just kind of it's simple starting stuff but uh, oh, I don't want it there that would be confusing but um, so yeah, the grinder. I think I mentioned it a bit last episode. Uh, what I want to do is make um, just a big spawning area, but I want want it um, to be like a um, like a vertical grinder. I don't want to mine out a big horizontal area. I'd rather mine out a pretty large um, vertical area, and then. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this was where I stop where I uh, blocked it off. That's good. So I was actually right that we were going to see this again. Cool. This is not something I've blocked off. This is a grinder. Or well, it's a potential grinder at some point, I guess. I don't want that, but I want this, that. I do want the cocoa beans. Ooh, a piece of red stone. That's good. We'll we'll actually set up camp here for just a bit. I'm going to make myself another pick and get all this sorted, and I'll be right back with you guys in just a bit. Okay, I uh, 
made another pick and uh, I also marked this off this place off a bit I wrote down the coordinates so we can get back here if you ever want to make like a sound grinder of course in 1.3 getting experience is much easier so having a normal monster grinder where you op optionally can just set it to almost kill the guys that um, should be enough you know we don't need to make like a like um, a fancy spawner grinder so this place is also now a dead end but I won't close it off I'll just close it halfway off and then um, mark it with a lot of tor torches so I know the way for later See. so I made a compass I mean, might have said that but that's just because I'm not entirely sure which way we're supposed to go to get back home and uh, when I got one redstone that's um, I should probably just use that um, let's see I could just do it like this I think there's something interesting is here let's see we might go up there yeah we'll go up there too just have a look before we go back home. I didn't find as many resources as I wanted, but oh, I could probably mark this off this way because we're still going further in, into the cave. Uh, we'll get this stuff. There's something more down here. That's good. Let's see, the phone keeps disturbing me or interrupting me. I mean, disturbing is well. <laughs> it's still a literal translation from the region, but it's um, it has. There's a subtle difference in the meaning of it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't get that disturbed by my phone. I don't think my phone is disturbing, but uh, it sure is interrupting at times. Let's see. Quick caving. Yeah, this is it's just a loop. Let's see. So we'll just close it off on this end and we'll go back around. Right. This is done. And we need some more torches again. Almost out of supplies. But I I have gotten over a stack of iron at least and some saddles so I can ride some pigs if I wanna. I hope at some point that uh Jeb will add like a mount of some sort. I think it would be cool, like uh something tameable. If it was flying that would be awesome but it should be really hard to get. Maybe something in the end or something so you had to you know tame something in the end like a dragon baby or something that would be awesome. Of course after you kill the dragon then maybe maybe you can do something with the egg and the egg will if you do something with the egg that will give you like mount of some sort and I don't know you can have different kinds of course too you know I've heard people say that oh we don't need mounts in my, uh, Minecraft because we have like the mine carts and everything yeah I can see you so I can see your point and I don't think we need this game needs any mounts but I think it would, would be fun to just you know sit around uh, and other people are kind of saying that well, oh, the game won't actually be able to handle it, handle it because it gets laggy and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, maybe, but then again, minecarts work, and as far as I know, they their top speed is eight meters a second, and s that seems to work fine. Oh, 
Why in the last here? Let's see. Yeah, on the right. Cool. I just lost my bearings for a second there. This, yeah, this is the way back up. So I'll um, get back to this, the town because this thing looks tapped out. I'll get back to the town and uh, we'll go through and see what we have. All right, we're almost back to the village and. We have one and a quarter stacks of iron. I got a couple of stacks of clay because I found them on the way back. We have some. It wasn't a good haul, but it was, you know, I can live with this. And uh, I just wanted to show you how big this desert is. This is enormous. And I'm not playing 1.3 with the large biomes. This is just a normal desert biome. And. Man, there's even like a river in between deserts. I, I believe that this is my this might be two desert biomes just back to back. Whoa, four. Whoa, two skeletons there, four on the other side just spawned. It's not good. I wish I would find like you know, um, like a, maybe I like f six by six, but six by four by five kind of sunken area in the desert here somewhere so I could build grinder easily but um well we'll have to just make um a normal one with the with the spawner areas so uh i think we'll we'll continue doing that the next episode but i think this is all we're going to do today and uh if you enjoy this video please press like this uh, really helps me out a lot and uh yeah I'll see you guys uh, next episode.